The high school state track meet starts tomorrow in Austin, and as Keith Russell reports, there are a lot of people rooting for a relay team from Sunnyvale High School. At Sunnyvale High School, there are some young men more than worthy of having a light shine on their achievement. The only thing we can tell them at this point is you, you earn the right to be here. Uh, go down there and give your best shot. The boys' 4 by 200 meter relay team reaching state and taking some sound advice with them. Run fast, turn left, you know, and get after it. Stick. At this point, it's a squad that's proven nothing can throw them off track. Every kid that's on this relay, including our alternates, all have their own story here. Perhaps none more compelling than the Arenze brothers. Obi, a senior, and Kamzi, a sophomore. In their final track meet together, they're running in honor of their father, a health care worker who passed away due to COVID in September. He's in a better place, and, um, and we use like athletics as an outlet to like, take our mind off it. Sophomore Jackson Sloan is being counted on to carry the baton in his family as well. Also in September, his father Nick, a former Marine, was diagnosed with ALS. Hard not to think about him when he's up in the stands when I'm running, cheering for me, and he can't stand up to cheer me on. This is my last lesson I have to teach my kids, and that's how to die graciously and how to spend, to squeeze every ounce of joy and life and service to our, you know, each other to the end of those days. Clearly, the goal is to bring home the state title, but it's the hurdles this group has overcome that will make them champions for life. This team's for real, and yeah, we're, we're going to make some noise. We will in state. Why should we have any doubt? Keith Russell, CBS 11 Sports. Good luck to Sunnyvale tomorrow night. And Doug, the DeSoto girls will be looking for their fifth straight state championship on Saturday in Austin. It's a big week. Bill, thank you.